Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You probably already know that around two weeks ago, I did a video where I demonstrated everything that was new in Luminar Neo's spring update. Well, I left something out. I wasn't aware until recently that Skylamp Software added a lot of enhancements to the presets panel in Luminar Neo. In today's video, I want to show you what those are. Now, if you don't use presets, you're probably thinking that this video isn't for you and you're going to tune out. I encourage you to stay, though, because what they've done here is pretty innovative. As you can see, I have an image opened up into Luminar Neo. Whenever you have an image in Luminar Neo and you go to the presets panel, what will happen is Luminar Neo will examine the scene and it will make some suggestions for that scene. Specifically, it will suggest three different preset packages that it think would work well for that scene. Those suggestions are at the top for this photo. You can see that it thinks that the preset package overcast would work well for this scene. And if I go to the right, it also thinks waterscapes. And if I go to the right again, you can see it thinks easy landscapes would work well. If you want to preview or try one of these, just click on the package. For this specific package, Easy Landscapes, you can see that there's three, or I'm sorry, there's six presets. And you'll also notice that the thumbnail has changed. This is new. In the past, the thumbnail was just what came with the preset. Now, it actually shows your image as the thumbnail, and you get to see what that preset looks like on your image in that thumbnail. So I could see that long exposure is a lot bluer than sunset just by looking at the thumbnail. I could get a preview by hovering over it. And you could see how I could hover over each of these just to get a preview. So what is new here is that little thumbnail where it's actually showing your image and what it would look like. Now I mentioned that it looks at your image and it will suggest three different preset packages that are already on your computer that it thinks would work well with your image. It will suggest a fourth. In this case, it's suggested Nordic Summer, but you'll notice there's a shopping cart here. That's because I don't own this package of presets, but it's making the suggestion. And what is new, you could actually get a preview of what these presets in this package would look like on this specific image. Do that, just click on it like we did before. You'll see they're pulsating as it works up the preview for each. And then you could hover over it like any other preset and get a preview of what each of these presets that are in this Nordic Summer Collection look like on an image. You can see, I don't care for any of these, but if you liked some, let's say you liked one, you could buy them directly from Luminar Nia by clicking on Get These Presets. It'll bring up this, and then you could look at it, how it looks on other images like this, you could add it to the cart and purchase it that way. So that is new, where you could actually get a preview of a package of presets that you don't yet own. Uh, again, that would be under for this photo. It's the fourth package at the far right. And of course, this changes because, as I mentioned, it will examine your image. If I go to a different scene, it will make a different suggestion here, modern architecture. So I could click on that, and again, I could get previews here. For this package and if I want to buy it just click on get these presets to purchase it. So that is again pretty new or new in this uh, latest update of Luminar Neo. Now if you have an X membership that's going to be this section right here and any presets that you downloaded via your X membership are here. So I could open that up and you could see that I have four different X membership preset packs. And you'll notice that each of the X membership preset packages have this little icon in the left-hand side, top left-hand corner, that tell me that these are presets that I got via my X membership. If you do have an X membership and you want to see what's available for you, you could click on Get More Presets. And then when this appears, click on your X membership heading here. And then let's find some presets that I don't already have installed. Here's Stories from Gion, I think. Anyway, 10 presets. Let's install it. So we'll just click install and it will immediately install them into Luminar Neo and they're available immediately. They're here under recently added. So I could click on that and there they are. And you got to wait for them to render and you can see what those look like. So if you do have an X membership, you could just 
go to get my more presets and then download everything that you want through that and they'll automatically appear here and in recently added we'll click on see all and you can see these were all recently added as well including the package of presets that i sell on my website so not only will um preset packages that you downloaded through your x membership show up here but also preset packages that you purchased through uh, Skylum's marketplace like soft beige authentic film portraits and ultimate landscapes those will show up here and if you purchase them from a third party such as myself those will show up here as well now another thing that is new is you could favorite entire preset packages you can see that i favorited mine you can see the little heart there i favorited that one i favorited soulful portraits let's say i want to favorite um japanese autumn dream just click on a little heart i'll favorite it all your favorited collections and if you favorited individual presets they'll be in your favorites so i'll go to favorites and here are my individual presets that i favorited these first few i think all of these might be ones that i sell that are in my package then if i go over to collections here's the collections i favorited and you could sort these this is new you could go to this little drop down i could go to recently added or i could go to collection name or i could just drag them and move them to different locations you could do that with the individual presets as well but again this is new you could go to this drop down you could change that or you could just drag them and drop them and resort them so you could do that under favorites uh, to just resort them and you also could do it in my presets if you created any of your own presets they'll be in my presets and these presets as well, you could just uh, drag and drop to resort them into a different order. Now, I accidentally applied a preset to this to reset this. Go to these three dots right here and go to revert to original. Now, here we have a category called purchased. Any presets that I purchase show up here. These are excluding the X membership presets because those were included in my X membership. These are just presets I purchased via the marketplace, the first three, or presets that I purchased from myself. Those are there as well. Now, below that, we have categories, or we have recently added, any presets that we recently added. And then below that, we have categories. There's eight different categories of presets. There's essentials, landscape, mother nature, portrait, macro, cinematic, and lifestyle, and finally aerial. That's the eighth one. Now, below that, we see the last four things, or presets in this case, that have been added to the marketplace. So you could at a glance just see what is new. So you don't have to go to your web browser and go to skylum.com and go to the marketplace to see what has new or have, has been added. You could tell at a glance right here what has added. And then the categories are repeated down here as well. Okay, now what if you've, let's say, purchased some preset packages or a preset pack and you found that you'd never use it and you really don't like it and you're tired of looking at it um let's say you want to get rid of it all you need to do is right click on it go to delete collection and when you do you could uh, then just delete it from um luminar neo so you don't have to look at it anymore that is new as well in the past you couldn't delete entire collections uh, but now you can just right click delete collection and you could do that so those are the enhancements that have been done to the presets panel in Luminar Neo. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.